Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a soap using this fragrance from Wholesale Supply Plus called Thankful. Wow, I love the scent of this. Let me read the scent description. Uh, it is a Bath and Body Works dupe. Um, so it says uh, it's balsam, cool citrus, jasmine, patchouli, a hint of smoky and creamy notes that will have you, <laughs> have you feeling thankful uh, with frankincense and myrrh. I think this is a, uh, hol it's supposed to be a holiday type scent just because it's very warm and, um, oh man, it makes me feel thankful. It's a great smell, but I'm going to use it right now. Uh, we're, you know, still in summer. I'm starting to think fall scents right now. Maybe that's why I kind of wanted to grab this one. It just smells fantastic. It does have a four and a half percent vanillin, so it will discolor to a light brownish color and um, I might put some TD in the main portion for the color swirl today. I'm going to use Synergy from Nurture Soap. This is one of my favorite colors. I love this color. It's that aqua tealy gorgeous is what it is. So that'll be one of the colors in there and then mixed with that I thought Fantasia. These two together, I don't know, they made me feel thankful. <laughs> and then uh, I'll put a little TD in the uncolored portion. Maybe it'll get to a creamy beige color. I just thought the whole thing looked really sumptuous. I wanna do a hanger swirl on this and um, scoopy top. Uh, I just think it sounds lovely. I want the bars to be lovely. I find this to be a unisex scent. So um, anyway, I will do goat milk and oil for the soap today because I've really been enjoying that. And uh, this summer, you know, it's milking season. I have access to lots of farm fresh goat milk. So got to use it while I've got it. <laughs> anyway, let me get everything pulled together and let's come back and make some thankful soap. I'm All right, it's time to get the additives into my oils and butters here. So I've got my farm fresh goat milk that I have discounted this volume from my lye solution. So that's the goat milk going in. And then I have my kale and clay, two tablespoons. I do this in almost all my soaps. So if it gets repetitive, just fast forward through. <laughs> Here's my colloidal oats, two tablespoons. Um, and these containers, I've said before, but I'll say it again, these are from the Dollar General. They're about 350 and they come with that little two tablespoon scoop. So that's where I got these handy containers at. So let me get these additives blended in and let them sit for a little bit and anchor while my lye solution finishes cooling. All right, I'm almost ready to get going here, adding the lye solution. Let me tell you what's going on over here is my um, distilled water with a tablespoon of cane sugar dissolved in it. Uh, and then Tussa Silk Fibers, Sodium Lactate, and the lye is in there. And I did add a teaspoon of titanium dioxide into my warm lye water. It's water-soluble TD. I put it in there because this fragrance does have a 4.5% vanillin, and I really want these colors to pop. So I feel like this will just tone down. Um, it'll keep it in the tan range rather than the brown range. So anyway, that's what's going on in this little magical pot. I did go ahead and put the fragrance in here. Um, <laughs> I'm being a risk taker today. I haven't worked with this fragrance before. Uh, let me just tell you how good this smells. Oh my word. I have never smelled this before at Bath & Body Works. Um, it's a dupe, but uh, wow, this is really, really nice. Right up my alley. Very warm and unisex. I think it's just divine. So it smells great. It's already in here. It got good reviews that it didn't accelerate trace. So I'm being a little bit of a risk taker having it in here but you know why not <laughs> you're coming along with me let's see if I can do this or if it's gonna be a fail right this could be really funny I have my colors already dispersed in just a little bit of distilled water in the buckets look at that synergy is that gorgeous oh my word it just helps it mix a little better and after I pour off my colors I may add a little bit more TD to the uncolored portion um, to so again so those colors pop got my hanger off to the side. Let me just tell you what that is. <laughs> this is a gear tie. They're flexible. Um, you can get them in multi-packs in the um, you know auto department or whatever at a hardware store. You can get them on Amazon and you can just bend it to fit whatever size your mold is and they make wonderful hanger tools. They're very inexpensive so it's just a flexible gear tie. 
so that is what I use for a hanger swirl. All right, now <laughs> I will quit talking and get this in the pot. Oh my word, this smells so good. Kind of, I mean, I'm in the middle of summer here. It's July right now while I'm making this, but this is making me think of warmer weather, or cooler weather, you know, sweaters and fall and all that. I'm just gonna get this up to a, you know, emulsion, very light trace before I split off for the colors. Again, because I haven't worked with this fragrance, I'm being a little bold. I wouldn't, <laughs> I'm not recommending this. Is this one of those do as I say, not as I do things? <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm doing this just because I felt like it, but if you are a newer soaper or you're not a risk taker, just hold it off. <laughs> I don't know, like living on the edge here, right? Adventures in soaping. There we go, let's see. Almost out of emulsion. Just gonna give this a quick blend. Make sure we're blended really good, and then we'll split off. All right. Let's get these color pots over here, these gorgeous colors. It's the next day, it's been about 24 hours, and I'm very anxious to get in here and see how that hanger swirl came out. Um, I did come in earlier and steam the top, 
And if you don't know about steaming the tops, I will link a video down below where I talk more in depth about it and show you how I do it. But anyway, I was gonna do a scoopy top and after I poured it, I just decided to go with the wavy little design here because it was so pretty. I didn't wanna mess with it, right? So sometimes less is more. I think that's gorgeous. Anyway, let's get it out of the mold and see what we've got going on the inside. All right, I've got the lovely Olga all tightened up here and ready to go. And uh, this is gonna be interesting to see. So um, I'm having a little bit of a color morph where this purple is looking a little brownish. So I'm gonna be very curious to see if this cures out that way. Although all that being said, it's not, it doesn't have a ring around it. And typically when you're gonna have a big color change, you'll have that discoloration ring and I'm not seeing that. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this as it cures, but isn't this just, this makes me feel thankful. <laughs> I am loving the color combination. This smells really, really pretty today. Let me tell you, not pretty. That's not a good word for a masculine fragrance, right? It smells, it smells wonderful is what it does. So let's get, oh my word, y'all, hanger swirls. Okay, there's the top. Let's see. Oh, so pretty. Loving the colors. Love this. Yeah, it is looking a little yellow around the outside. I have a feeling that the beige portion is going to turn a more yellow color. That's not a bad thing, right? I think that's fine. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, so pretty. Anyway, you know, I love me a hanger swirl <laughs> and I love soap patterns. Absolutely love them. <laughs> 